I'm at the premiere of the Bobby Brown documentary, and I'm here with the man of the hour, Bobby Brown, and his lovely wife, Alicia. Is this date night for the both of you? Um, being executive producers, myself and my wife, um, this is definitely not a date night. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's more of a... Um, Celebratory moment yes. for us. Absolutely. We are so proud of this documentary. How cathartic was it for you working on this documentary? Oh, man. So many things I, I was able to get out of my system, you know, from past and, and present, you know. Um, it was therapeutic, very therapeutic. One of the moments that we've seen, one of the scenes, is you visit Whitney Houston and Bobby Christina's grave for the first time. Yes. What can you tell us about that day? What do you remember? I remember crying a lot. I remember, um, you know, just... Um, just, it was a tough day. I mean, yeah. you know, it was a tough day, but we got through it. And in the end, it was something that needed to happen. Yes. And um, I feel that both of us had a real um, positive release that we needed, that sometimes you don't often know that you need, right? So it was a wonderful um, celebratory moment of finding peace. Yeah. How difficult was it for you opening up about Whitney's death and Bobby Christina's and Bobby Jr.? Um, that was, that was, it was hard, but at the same time, like I said, it was therapeutic. You know, um, I was able to, to, to uh, grieve in front of a camera and let everybody know that it's okay to grieve. You know, it's okay to miss someone. And um, I'm going to miss them every day of my life, so... You know, as long as I get it off my chest, I'm good. How are you doing today, Bobby? I'm doing wonderful today. Today is a special day. I'm glad to be here. Now, I'm going to get in trouble for asking this, but I'm going to ask it anyway, because you talk about the highs and the lows of your career, and you were the biggest pop star of the 80s and 90s. Uh -huh. You reportedly opened up about your relationships with Janet Jackson and Madonna, oh, and you recently performed with Janet at the Kentucky Derby. What was her response to that? Have you talked to her? Are you still friends? I haven't talked to her, no. And what about Madonna? Are you still friendly with no, her? I'm not friendly with too many people. <laughs> <laughs> what I, do you I, I, I think the uh, receiving it is just kind of like, you know, being truthful and past, authentic, and I it's mean, in the past, know. but I think everybody is in a loving space, really. What do you want people to take away from this docu documentary? Just that I, I, I have given... I've given 40 years of my life to this industry, and um, I'm, I'm going to continue to give what I am, you know, as an artist to this industry. Every little step, how's it different from the documentary? What are we going to see on the reality show? <laughs> Unbelievable. I mean, we, it's completely different from the documentary, but it's a perfect setup because now you see him in his life today, right? So you see um, just a happy black family loving to parents in the household learning how to uh, manage and balance and just work together and love together and it's a beautiful thing that you know children really teach you a lot so our kids are very uh, it's, it's PG it's PG <laughs> it's a so family fun show but I'll tell you it's um, we are always on our toes I guess you could yeah, say yeah. you know it's like you never know what's coming What's the one thing, what's the biggest thing you've learned about yourself after 40 years in this business? Um, that I'm not the bad boy that everybody thinks I am, that I thought I was, you know? Um, I take pride in, 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 in being, being a, a solid entertainer, uh, but I'm not the bad boy that I thought I was. Would you say that's the biggest miscon misconception about it? <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Thank you for watching. If you want more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video.